Hello everybody and welcome to another episode on the 2.1 Beta Engineers. Uh, today I'm in the Python, I'm going to be testing out the class 3 multi cannons. If I just quickly go on to outfitting, I'll show you what I've done with this ship. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I have an A rated power plant on here. An A7. Is that, I swear it used to be A6. I swear we never used to get 30 megawatts. I don't know actually, could be me. But yeah, everything is just fully A-rated on the core module side of things, because I was doing really well on power. Um, utility modules just got two A-rated shield boosters, and they've changed the actual... It's not a placeholder anymore, it actually looks like a utility mount, like a shield booster. It looks pretty cool. Uh, point the fence and chaff. And now, for the inside, I've gone with just a normal class 6. A rated shield generator, two A uh, B6 shield cell banks, one cargo rack, 32 tons, three hull reinforcements, one class five, one class four, and one class three, a collector limpet, and a vehicle hanger. And yes, I got the collector limpet so I can pick up the um, loot that the ships drop. So you may need to rethink your combat ship now. I thought you'll just spend a lot of time trying to scoop up the loot with your ship. Hard points, I've gone with three <laughs> I love these, they look really cool. Three uh, large multi cannons and two medium beam lasers. So let's go and test this out. I was hoping I'm hoping it does well. Again, I put the frame rate up and the bandwidth up. I am on solo play. I'll tell you what, it's been a long time since I've flown the Python. The so top speed is 253, 2, boost speed, oh, 328. I love the look of the Viper, the Python, sorry, on the inside. Looks really good. I'm hoping there is a resource site down here. There should be. So yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to do in combat with this ship. It's been a while since I've flown it. There we go. <clears throat> Yesterday, I first when I first came here, I um, tested out the huge or the large no it's huge yeah huge uh, beam laser for the third lance and there was a player outside the station and I said to him oh, do you want to fight I said yeah right anyway he had beam lasers and they were putting so much heat into my ship it was unreal but he was doing no damage I was just getting pure heat I was using heatsink after heatsink after heatsink I still managed to, um, we got him down, I got him down to like 20%, I said, ah, oh, cool, thanks for the fight, mate, he goes, ah, oh, just kill me, so we finished a little fight, 
and I was on 50% hull with shields and he was on well he dead he died so let's see if there's a resource site here oh there's not is there bastard bastard all right no worries what we can do is have a look for a war zone state let's have a look for a war there we go, there's one close by. Oh. Frameship drive so, so it's a lot easier now to find battles, which is good. You can also use that to find trade routes as well and boom and bust and whatever. Now, my little rant I had about the engineers. Um, I called it a grind. It's still sort of a grind because you still need to go out and find materials, but the materials, they're just too easy to find. It's, it is really easy to find what you're looking for. Right, where would the war be? Okay, well, I can't see it here. Let's have a look. I did not plan this ahead, which I should have done. Hang on a minute, there's meant to be a wall here, but yet the state of this is none. None and none. Right, okay. So where would the war zone be? Well, there's metal rich here, so let's just go here and have a look. See if there's a resource site then. The sun looks so much better. Star. Done all that. Oh, bollocks. I didn't pick up no limpets. Oh, shit. Oh, well. There we go. What's this? Unidentified signal source. Encoded emissions detected. Hey, threat zero. Should we have a look? Let's have a look. What's here? It'd be interesting to see what is here. Now the speed, we can drop out at eleven meters per second. Well, megameters a second, and the distance is also 11 megameters, so we should be able to drop out now. There we go. Ah, perfect. That's my landing gear. Okay, why can't I pick it up? Is 
actually hitting my ship before it's going into the cargo scoop. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. But is there anything that I need here? I don't think there is. So I'm trying to upgrade my FSD. So all I need is the disruption, wake echoes and chemical processors. Yeah, it's been a very long time since I've flown this ship, so I could be a bit rusty with it. The handle's like a territory in my eyes. I, I do love my um, small ships, and I can't wait till I get my Eagle with a upgraded thruster so I can go really fast, and I think that'd be brilliant. Fong Wang. The ring system looks so much better. This one's closer. And that as well, I think that just looks a lot more highly detailed. Let's go see what ships we'll find here. Wow. Wow. That looks good. I'm very impressed. Frame rate's okay at 60 so far. But we haven't got into the asteroid ring yet, so let's go inside it. Dust as well, so it should get a bit dusty when we get down here. There we go. Just about to go into the dust. This looks beautiful. Oh my god, yes. Oh yes, this is good. <laughs> this is awesome. I would actually enjoy mining now. With this view, there's no like color mismatch. The shadows are on the asteroid from other asteroids. Let's go see what this explorer is all about. He's elite, so hopefully the AI will fight a bit different now. I'm going to let him scan me first, because you do know if they start scanning you and you shoot at them, they are literally pinpointed on you at all times, you cannot outmaneuver them. So let's have a look. Get the shields offline. Doing very well on power management with the class 2 beam lasers here. Get rid of the fire the multi cannons. Wow, look at that damage go! <laughs> so apparently they do run away. Yep, he's off. There you go, he's dead. 
Anaconda. David Cross. So, David. Susan Chaff. That's right, he's so big. I'm still hitting him. I can shoot these beam lasers forever, so it's pretty good. Frame rate's dropping down to 50, 51. But this is not 1080p, this is two times my native resolution. And my field of view is 75, so it's pushed right back. So it is rendering a lot more on the actual screen itself. I can't get the shields offline. Keeps using a shield cell bank. I'm going to use one actually. Oh no! They get no heat sinks. Come on, Conda, I just want your shields to go offline. So I can tucker, tucker, tucker on your power plant. He's using another shield cell bank. Is he? He's deadly. I can't shake him. Again, I'm not in the most maneuverable ship in the world. Time for another shield cell bank. And a shitload of heat. You bastard. This is a hard fight. They have improved the AI dramatically. Another heat sink. Warning. Taking heat damage. I mean heat. Shield tower bank. There you go, his shields are offline. He's so manoeuvrable. It's a lot harder than they were before, I'll tell you that much. Frame rate is looking a bit low. Come on. Again, this ship handles like a turtle, so it's not the best. Go. So he's down. Oh, look at that! It's a new damage model. He's got scratches all over his ship. That's pretty cool. So this guy's scanning me. He's got bollocks, I'll give him that. There you go. <laughs> it didn't last very long, did it? 
But what have they dropped? Don't need anything of this stuff. No, I don't need any of it. But it would be nice to collect most of this. I've deleted a load of my materials so I can actually carry some stuff. I believe they should have um, like these materials on a different tab compared to the ones that they've just introduced. So is this a wing of three? I think it is. Well, it's the federal police. And this is Beta, and I want to see how well we do against a wing of three. They're not big ships, they're all Vipers. But let's have a look, shall we? He's going to run away because his shields are offline. So while he's doing that, we'll take care of the other guys. You know when they're going to run away when their shields go offline. It makes it a lot easier. So this guy's nearly dead. 7%. All the police shooting at me now. There you go. Right, let's see how well my military grade home reinforcements. They're still trying to fly into you. Ninety percent. Not bad with three of them shooting at us. <laughs> yep. Who's next? Yeah. No shit. Oh, what? Oh, I think it's nearly time to go. Police don't like me very much. Still 63%. We're doing wonders out here. I keep losing power on my power distributor. Canopy's gone. Oh, my shield's online. So I put power in my weapons and then it just drops. <laughs> I can't fire my weapons. Oh, oh, oh god. We are fucking dead. Power plant. Why can't I move? <laughs> Boost away! 
No. Come on, ship, fix yourself. No, we are broken. Boost. No, we're gone again. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's try something. Reboot and repair. Before we die. 22% hole. 21% hole. Oh, that is so shooting at me non stop. Come on, 19%. I'm getting ready to boost. Boost then. No, uh, we've lost it, guys. No, oh, it's gone again. <sighs> Goodbye, everyone. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're away. I can't frame shift drive. Six percent. Frame shift drive malfunction. Four percent. Three percent. Yep. We're off. Wow. There he is, little bastard. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, actually. I enjoyed that. Now we're back in Shinrata Desra, which is always good. And that, folks, is the Class 3 multi cannons. I think they're really good. Pack a punch as well. I forget, I, for, blah, blah, blah. I forgot how well this ship is in combat. Yeah, it does handle like a brick, but. Um, the shields are good, you can carry a load of shields or banks and hull reinforcements and I had god knows how many shoots have been shooting at me then and I was doing quite well on the hull so apart from that guys this has been the 2.1 beta and I'm off right folks I'll catch you next time bye bye